Okay folks, welcome back to this, yep, welcome back to GTA Vice City with 6 stars and welcome back to this nonsense. Yeah, the job. Oh, sick. Alright guys, get in. Once they're in, I will explain things. What the fuck is Phil doing? Not this again! Yeah, that's right, drag Hillary out, he deserves it. Okay, hold on. So, I think it's uh, safe to say that uh, the last recording session was a bit of a disaster. Yeah. I wonder if I should start again at this point. Come on, guys. Yeah, I will restart. That is just ridiculous. What the fuck were my teammates doing? Okay, so I'm hoping that in this recording session I've found myself um, a reliable pair of uh, skill boots to wear. I really, really hope I'll get past the job in this recording session. To be honest with you, I'm pretty sure I will. I have a cunning plan for pretty much uh, every part of this mission. Oh, you bastard. I might just leave that tire popped. I better not regret it at the end of the mission. Because remember, the game remembers this car's condition when it comes back at the end of the mission. Thank you, tank. Okay, so the hardest part in this mission with six stars will be getting from the Malibu Club to the bank. Now, I know in the last recording session I... <coughs> excuse me. I decided to pick up uh, brass knuckles to uh, knock Cam and Phil over inside the bank to stop them from shooting each other. Well, actually, I'm going to be using the brass knuckles outside the bank. Yep. I'm going to use the brass knuckles to stop... Well, hopefully, to stop Cam and Phil from getting run over when they are running across the road towards the bank. Yep. Hold on. I'll take this to pain spray anyway. Yeah, so if I use the brass knuckles to knock Cam and Phil over before we run across the road to the bank, that will stop them from getting run over by a truck or tank when it comes flying down the road. And then once we're inside the bank, after I've got my water level back by uh, killing the civilians, Go away, cheetah, please. Okay, he's not. He is now. Yeah, once I've got my wanted, yeah, once I've got my wanted level back. Hold on, I think I'll kill these guys. Shit! I'm not gonna avoid that tank. I saw it coming. There's nothing I could do about it. So what I'm trying to say is, once I've got my wanted level back. I will simply run straight up the stairs and kill the two guards outside the elevator myself. So by sprinting up the stairs, Cam and Phil will hopefully get stuck. Come on. Take them out individually. Hopefully that soldier behind the tank won't give me any problems. Right, guys, just get in. No. Get that all in. Tommy, Hillary's taking up too much room. I am not. R2. Hey, shut up, you two, or you can get out and walk. Yeah, Hillary. I'll be able to explain things a wee bit better once things settle down. Okay. Things will settle down a bit once I'm in the bank. This part of the mission is the craziest. After you've robbed the bank and trying to lose your water level, it's not too crazy because the pain spray is just up the road. And furthermore, you mustn't have a wanted level in order to take 
uh, calm and fill back to Kang's garage. Yeah, it's one of those missions. What the hell is that tank doing? Oh god, here comes Mega Cop and his brother. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. God! Oh shit! Fuck, I was trying to do something there, you stupid cop. <sighs> Damn it! I've got a feeling this is not going to go so well either, this recording session. It is just not my month. I was about to say it's not my week, but right now it's not my fucking month. Come on, can I please just get to the bank? a cop again. Die. All you die. Come on. Right, who's in? And who's not? Phil. Come on. Come on, Phil. Come on. Go away, tank. Lost the wheel again. Yeah, the strategy that I was trying to uh, do just behind the pink marker was a strategy that was suggested to me by a subscriber whose username I can't remember 100%, I think it's GTA Man 95 but either way, what I'll do is I'll put the person's name on the screen at this point in the video, okay? So special thanks to you. The strategy involves stopping the car just before the pink marker, then getting out and getting back in. And that will cause... Go away! Oh, come on! Yeah, that'll, that'll cause your teammates to get out and back in as well. But what you have to do is... Should I take it to a pain spray? Yes, I think I will. Loved ones, pizza. All will pass their end, and you must accept that. Right. Thanks, Cam. Don't mention. Yeah, so I have to stop just short of the pink marker, then get out and get back in. That will cause my teammates to get out and get back in as well. Oh, for God's sake. Right, I'm just going to leave it. I've had enough. I'm not going to bother with the strategy. Forget it. Forget it. I'll explain later. My head is just all over the place and there's too many fucking distractions right now. Right, brass knuckles, let's do it. Go! 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 Oh no! I was so fucking near the pink marker too, you piece of shit! Just another millisecond and I would have made it. Just one more fucking millisecond and I would have made it. But no. Something had other ideas. Go away. Go away. Go the fuck away. And you, come on. They're everywhere, bloody hell. No. Right, come on. No. Come on, Phil. Right, what's going you dare? Oh. I wouldn't be at all surprised if I spend this entire fucking recording session trying to get to the bank. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest at this rate. I hope you're recording this okay, Bandicam. Yeah, I'll be checking. I'll be checking once this mission is over. Hopefully successfully. Right. 
don't know where the cops are, there's one. Oh god, someone else. Damn it! Didn't see him there, little cocksucker. Finger. Yeah, this is definitely Vice City's version of uh, robbing Uncle Sam from the San Andreas. You all remember how hard that was with the uh, six stars in the San Andreas. Difficult to forget. Where are the other cops? Inside, I think. Right, come on guys, let's get in. Let's go, come on. Come on, all three of you. No! One Phil, get up. Lost the wheel. Oh, the truck caused me to run full over. I was hoping to not get any pop tires whatsoever. ever. No such luck. Oh, why are the trucks in this game so bloody fast? Oh, cheeky little shites. I don't know why I shot the soldiers. Roadblock soldiers are harmless. Apparently that's because they were meant to have pistols as sidearms and use them at roadblocks, like they do in GTA 3. Well, I think due to some kind of glitch they don't have the pistols. So that's why SWAT officers, FBI agents and soldiers at roadblocks are harmless. Move. Okay, I'm not getting past him. Yet. Oh god! Don't you dare flip over! Don't you fucking dare! Don't you fucking dare either! God, here he comes. Right. On the grass. Go on. Bugger off. Both of you. I'm getting in that pain spray, whether you guys like it or not. I'm getting inside the bank, whether you guys like it or not. And I'm also completing this mission, whether you guys like it or not. Oh my god, here they come. Go oh, away. Ah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Maybe I'll be able to do my strategy now. With any luck. Alright, I'll try. Hey, Tommy, why we stop? That's it. Driving around the block, okay? So that strategy causes Hillary to get stuck in the passenger seat and not drive away. Yep. You have to drive into the pink marker as soon as they start getting back in, okay? Right. Stop. Okay, fine, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run, I don't care. Get the way, tank. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, guys. Nice and easy, just as we planned. Okay. I hope those soldiers outside have disappeared. And if they haven't, they better not shoot at Cam or Phil. Let's get inside, come on. Okay, we're safe, we're safe. This is a raid! Nobody move! Everybody up against that wall! The screen went all funny there. Oh, oh nothing's gone wrong. Hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that! Upstairs. Right, let's kill these civilians to get my water level back. Once I got my six stars back, I will check the footage quickly. Okay. Okay. Just gonna shoot them by mistake. I was in a camera film. Right. Come on, one more. Right, quick footage check. Okay, so far so good. Right, plan is just run upstairs. Actually, no. I want these guys to get stuck first. Not there, preferably. Rather, they get stuck over here. Okay, the plan is sprint upstairs. And that way, I'll be able to kill the security guards outside the elevator without them shooting each other. Right, go. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Ignore the guards near the manager's location. I tried this many times in a practice run and it worked. Okay. Okay. I don't have to deal with those security guards just yet. I can deal with them when I'm on my way to get the manager. And by then, Cam will be by himself at the vault, so 
I will not have to worry about them shooting each other at that point, okay? The only potentially problematic guard at the moment is the one patrolling The Olympics have been cancelled this year, okay? Yeah, the only problematic security guard between now and the vault is the lone guard who patrols the vault area. Because Cam and Phil could still shoot each other, which I'm hoping won't happen. I'm sure it won't, but I hope it doesn't. Sure, it won't happen. Okay. Good. Good. They're not going to shoot each other anymore. Am I right or am I right? It's a flange, you know. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find a manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. And like I said in the last recording session, Phil doesn't normally come with you, but because I killed all the civilians, he is. And the conversations between Tommy and Phil still play as normal, as if he's still downstairs. Phil, things still sweet? Sure. Everything's real quiet. And he's gone missing. Okay. Fine. At least he won't get shot by the security guards. That's a plus. Hello? I'll pick up the armor once I've killed the SWAT team at the end of the mission. Right. I love the grenade aiming animation. You, you're coming with me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot. When I get back to the vault, I'll show you the sniper rifle aiming animation, and then when we're waiting for the SWAT team to arrive, I'll show you the fist aiming animation. I said nobody move. That was right in my ear, Phil. Have some fucking consideration for others. Okay. Don't want anybody getting stuck. Right. Watch this. It's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's coming through Tommy's mouth. Okay. Now I hear you ask, how's the alarm gonna get triggered? You killed all the security guards downstairs. Well, just watch this. I told you not to touch that alarm! The SWAT team will be here any minute! I can do with some help here, Tommy! Okay. Surrounded? <laughs> They're crapping themselves! Corrupt bastards! Tommy! The vault's open! Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place. Take cover. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Super Versailles. All right. This is insane. Yes. More like I'm insane for doing this playthrough. Oh, I think they're all dead now. Now, to make, I know a lot of you are going to hate me for doing this, but to make sure I get past this mission successfully and not worry about Phil getting killed, I'm going to kill Cam. Sorry Cam Jones fans. It's just to make sure I get past this mission successfully. I don't want any more fuck ups, okay? Hey guys, get in! I got you covered. Right. I hope that wasn't a tire on the taxi that got popped right there. Sadly, I think it was. Okay, he died. That's good. There's one SWAT guy left. He's right there. He's now dead. Perf oh god, that tank. That tank. That tank, though. Yes, I know. Move. Mmm, I'm getting shot to shit. 
dead. Right. Oh shit, no. Right, get in. Get in. No, Phil. No. Just want to lose my water level. Got to the old come. Oh shit. Okay. Come on, just pass me. Right. Okay. Okay. I think I'm finally going to do it now. I'm just going to prove to you that you must not have a want of level before you take Phil to Calm's place. Yeah. Hello. Come on. Get in there. Well done. It's not over yet though, but I think I'm in the clear. I really do think I'm in the clear, but I'm going to stay over here just to... Oh God. Hmm. Is that a land stalker? Yeah, it is. I need that for sunshine also. I'm just going to quickly take this and keep it for sunshine also. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to take that... Oh, it's disappeared. Fuck, I'm just going to take the Blister Compact instead. Never mind, because I think Blister Compacts are more rare. Is that a Blister Compact? Yes, it is. Fucking hell. Right. I'm taking this for Sunshine Notice instead. Come on, Phil. Don't get run over now. Perfect. Right, I'm going to park the car just uh, down here. So I can use it for Sunshine Notice. One Phil. One Phil. Please, Phil. Don't get killed now after all this. Yes! We made it! We're rich! Rich! Cave Cam didn't make it. He was a good guy. Yeah. Still, more for us. Damn straight! Yeah! <laughs> Tommy, would you like a massage? Well, hi there, Mercedes. Yeah, I'm a little tense. What'd I tell you, Tommy? What'd I tell you? Ben Swap better watch out when Kemp is in town. Come on, give me a bigger slice, mate. Come on, I've got to get some new friends. Well played. I told you I was going to do it in this recording session, didn't I? Yep, I told you the fuck so. Okay, well done. Right, I'm going to take this to Sunshine Notes. Hopefully in one piece. By the way, during a practice run, I noticed there, there must be some kind of a graphical glitch involving the list of cars that Sunshine knows. Because in the practice run, there was a red line through the rancher on the list, even though I hadn't exported it yet. I oh, that's the same now. What? We got more of these than we can shift. Sorry, man. No what? That's strange. That is weird as hell. I've not exported a rancher or a blister compact. I know I've exported an Idaho, not a Landstalker, Esperance, or Stallion. Hmm. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. Maybe that'll go away. After I save. That is weird as hell. Well, at least I can say I've taken the blister compact to Sunshine Always. Yeah. Right. Before I save, I'm going to check the footage and just pray that Bandy Cam captured what happened during the job. Okay. Yeah, it did. It's fine. Okay, let's save over... That's my backup save. So I'll save over that one. I'm just glad the job is finally over. Right, what I'm going to do now is, before I do Phil's missions, I'm going to head over to the boatyard, buy that, and do Checkpoint Charlie. I discovered that you can actually use a helicopter to do Checkpoint Charlie. Yeah, you can if you want, but the chances of completing it in time with a helicopter are very slim. And that's mainly because a few of the packages are underneath low bridges. And by the time you get the helicopter under the bridge, to collect the package, you'll have wasted too much time. So, best advice, just use the Squallow. 
I've asked this before, but is it pronounced squallow or squallow? Answers in the comments, please, as usual. Alright. I'll check the footage again. Yep, it's fine. Right, checkpoint Charlie. Oh god, the boats have gone. If I reload my save, they might come back. I'll take the phone call from... Oh. I would take the phone call from Phil, but it's not arrived yet. Right, wish me the best of fucking luck. The hardest part of Checkpoint Charlie is the beginning, because you just get swarmed from all sides by police boats. Yep, see... Right, hold on. See an opening and take it. Nah, start again. Start again. That was just unfortunate. It's there. Maybe I should take out a police boat or two before I get in. The only problem is doing that will uh, could cause me to get shot up a lot by uh, the cops on land. Oh hell no guys, come on. Ah, I missed it. I should still have enough time, but I don't know. Mmm! Come on, guys, that is quite enough. Right, if that happens again, I'll quickly jump out of the boat and shoot them with the minigun. Only problem is... Only problem is... After you destroy a police boat, more do spawn in their place very quickly. Right. Get through there, come on. Uh, that's a bit better, because you get out of range of their machine gun rounds. Ah, don't scrape yourself too much. Go away, guys. This is the hardest part. Even without six stars, the ramps bit is hard. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Right, last one. Oh, I almost went right over the fucker. Okay. And we're not out of the clear just yet. I mean, we're not in the clear just yet, sorry. I think once I get to the end of this river, the police boats come back. The last package is... It's at that yacht that you go to in supply and demand for Diaz. They should be coming back at this point. After this one, maybe? You just wait. Next question is, once I've finished the mission, and I've reactivated my wanted level, where do I stop the boat and get out? Without drowning myself. Stop. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've done it. Yep. I think I'll get out of the boat just here at that jetty over there. But carefully. I'm not sure why um, I couldn't export the Blister Compact. I hope that's not going to prevent me from getting 100%. That is weird as hell. Right, hold on. Actually, no. I'm going to wait here. No, I'm not. I'm not. I was going to say I'll wait for the phone call from Phil. I've got a better idea. Since well, since this is the safe house where I've saved a rancher, I'll go here, take that to Sunshine Notes, and see if I can export that. I've got a feeling I might not be able to. Footage check. I mean, I might be able to export it because I'm sure when I discovered that aforementioned uh, bug with uh, the car, bloody hell, the car lists, 
I'm sure I tried to export a vehicle that was already listed as exported and I was still able to export it for some reason. So I'm not sure what's going on at all. At all protected. Right. What I could do is grab the land stalker from the dirt track in downtown and export that. So I'm hoping to export all the cars on list one during this recording session. So I'm pretty sure doing that will count towards completing another asset for the in order to unlock the final two story missions. I'll grab some body armor while I'm here. I need to change my clothes. Wash. Or should I say quack quack? Even if I'm not able to export the rancher due to that odd glitch, at least I can say I've taken the rancher to Sunshine Nose. Yeah, I've made the effort. That's fair. Very fair indeed. Right, the next car that I'll export will be the Esperanto, which is in my garage at the mansion. And that'll be my excuse to uh, change back to the street outfit. I'm surprised I've not received the phone call from uh, Phil Cassidy for his missions. I was kind of hoping to have received it when I was reloading my saves after the Checkpoint Charlie failed attempts. Alright, uh, what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna do the same again. Okay. Well, again, at least I brought it to Sunshine Nose. Can I export this yet? Oh, come on. Uh, same again. Okay. Is it trying to open? No. Nah, just leave it. Right, so I will now go for the Esperanto at the mansion. And if I see any land stalkers or stallions on the way, I'll take them. Right, should I take the tank? I don't think I'll be able to get in it, to be honest with you. Right, off to the mansion. Good luck. On the topic of land, oh god, on the topic of the land stalker at the dirt track, I was practicing trial by dirt and test track with six stars. And when I was doing trial by dirt, you know, the Sanchez side mission, I got ultra cops by a member of the Vice Squad, you know, the guys that drive the cheetahs. 